Introduction Ravi, have you done today's maths homework? Yes, I have gathered some information about the different sports liked by the students of our class. Okay, but how will you interpret which is the favorite sport among the students? It's easy. I have arranged the data in tabular form. Now by looking at the data I can say basketball is liked by the highest number of students. Children, you see collecting data is very important task. We can arrange data in different forms and get some useful information out of it. So in this lesson we shall learn about data handling. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to Recall the importance of collection and organization of data. Calculate arithmetic mean, mode and median of any given set of data. Determine range of a set of data. Well, anybody knows why there is a need of collecting data? Suppose we have a data about the runs scored by different Indian batsmen in a cricket match. By looking at the data, can you interpret which Indian batsman had the highest runs during the year? No. Therefore, to find that, we need to collect data regarding the highest runs scored by each batsman during the year. So children, unless and until you don't collect the appropriate data, you cannot know the desired information. We collect data to record and organize it. But why do we need to do that? Look at the following data. A class teacher of class 7 listed the weight of 10 students in this way. Is this data easy to understand? Now look at this data. You can easily know which student has highest maximum weight and which has least. So when we put data in a proper table, it becomes easy to understand and interpret. We can put many kinds of data in tabular form. Rahul spends on an average of about two hours daily for his outdoor games. The average temperature of New Delhi at this time of the year is about 40 degrees Celsius. Have you noticed the word average? By average we understand that Rahul usually plays for two hours. On some days he may play for less number of hours and on the other days he may play longer. Similarly, the average temperature of 40 degrees Celsius means that the temperature of New Delhi at this time of the year is around 40 degrees Celsius. Sometimes it may be less than 40 degrees Celsius and at other times it may be more than 40 degrees Celsius. Thus we realize that average lies between the highest and the lowest value of the given data. Different forms of data need different forms of representative value to describe it. One of these representative values is the arithmetic mean. Come along to learn about it. The mean is just the average of the number and it's easy to calculate. Basically, mean is equal to the sum of all the observations divided by number of observations. Let us calculate the mean of these numbers. Add up the numbers first. The sum of these numbers is 60. There are total 5 numbers. So the mean is equal to 60 divided by 5 which equals 12. Therefore, the mean of the above numbers is 12. Rohit is an intelligent and very studious boy in the class. He gave his maths test seven times to improve his marks. The data shown here is displaying the marks scored by Rohit. Can you calculate the mean test marks of Rohit? Hmm. Let us first add up the marks and the sum is 300. We know he gave maths test seven times. So the mean marks of Rohit are equal to 300 divided by 7, which is equal to 42.86. The range of a set of data 
is the difference between the highest and lowest values in the set. To find the range, first order the data from least to greatest. Then subtract the smallest value from the largest value in the set. So children, now you can also find the range of any set of data. Five participants completed their swimming race. Can we calculate the range of swimming time from this data? Yes, it's simple. First, order the data from least to greatest. Now, subtract the least value of time from the highest. So, the range of swimming time is 3.9 minutes. The mode is simply the number which appears most often. See this example. We have few numbers here. How can we find out the mode? To find the mode, we need to first put the numbers in order, then count how many of each number. Now, see which numbers appear most often. In this case, 8 appears 2 times, so the mode is 8. Look at this data. It shows the height of 25 children in a class. Let us find out the mode of their heights. It's quite easy. First, put the numbers in order and put it in a tabular form. Then, count how many of each number. See, 163 appears 9 times, so the mode of the children's height is 163. Median is the value which lies in the middle of a group of numbers that have been arranged in order by size. Let us find the median of these numbers. Firstly, we need to put these numbers either in ascending order or descending order. As you can see the middle number is 12. It has three numbers to its right and three numbers to its left. So the median is 12. The Goyanga family has five children, aged 9, 12, 5, 18 and 15. What is the age of the middle child? First of all, we should order the children's ages from least to greatest. Definitely, the age of the middle child is the middlemost number in the data set, which is 12. Likewise, you can find out the median of various data. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The collection, recording and presentation of data help us in organizing our experiences and drawing inferences from them. Arithmetic mean is equal to the sum of all the observations divided by number of observations. The range of a set of data is the difference between the highest and lowest values in the set. The mode is simply the number which appears most often. Median is the value which lies in the middle of a group of numbers that have been arranged in order by size.